Welcome back to What's Up. Last week, Andrea Brazier showed us suspension training exercises for the whole body, but we're not done with this training demo. This week, Andrea will show chest exercises, plus point out some common mistakes people commit when using these belts. Watch this. I will show you three examples how you can do your chest in the, in the suspension train. Uh, for who is starting, you can stay pretty tall, lean very, very slightly. Keep your hands by the side of your chest. Then you come, keep your chest open and come back. So you can start like this. Keep your elbows close to your ribs to overload your shoulders. You are going to overload less your shoulders, okay? So you put more work into your triceps instead. This is the beginner, beginner version. You are a little more advanced. Make this strap a little longer, okay? And then walk a little more backwards. So this, you have more range to go down in the movement, okay? You might feel at the beginning your arm shaking like this, so take it easy. This is very good to work those little muscles that you normally wouldn't work in a stable base exercise. Always your hands by the side of your chest. It will take the load off your shoulders and it will work more your triceps behind your arms also. If you more, more, more advanced, what do you do? Step more back and then you go more flat down for the, for the push. This is harder, okay? So I will show you now some simple uh, mistakes you can correct that will make a huge difference in your game. When you go down in the push, keep your chest proud. When you come back up, keep the chest proud. The second uh, little mistake I see a lot, when people are doing this uh, suspension train, they keep the thing rubbing their arms. So it will hurt you, okay? So make sure when you go uh, do your chest, for example, keep your arms away from the rope. So this way is comfortable. It will not hurt your arms. So this is the tips for today. I hope you enjoy. I see you next time. Bye.